over to Hall here. Let's see. Oh, this Hall too. Got so many things to go through. Well, let's take a look. So now we have this major haul and all these unboxings, right? We're unboxing the shipping here. We're not, we're not even unboxing the figures. We're just unboxing all these crazy boxes. Um, I already threw the box away for this, but this was the Tila Snake Tila from Masters of the Universe. Hadn't seen many of these online, so there you go. For those of you that are looking for it, it was available on Amazon. $16.99 for the Snake Tila. Can't wait to pop these open, especially when... Um, Eternia comes out. We're going to get to that other item in a minute. This right here, we're going to go live. We're going to open it, right? We're going to open this live. Hopefully, um, don't cut myself here. Got the kitchen knife with this one today. Everyone, just like everyone else, trying to preserve for shipping purposes. This right here is the... Legends Series 18 Hulk Hogan. This is clearly the one where he, you know, everyone's like, this, this is the day that he dropped the leg on Mach. This is the day right here. Um, don't love the fact that it comes with the label on the back, so thank you, Target, for labeling it and making it where I'm basically going to have to open it. Thanks a lot, Target. Now, let's see this one. This is, this is a nice beat-up box right here. Look at this crap. You know, all of it beat up. So let's see. Let's see what we got in this particular box here. Oh, fantastic. This is a destroyed Samu. So we're going to make sure we get our online uh, coupon here. and we're, we're, we're returning that one. That one, horseshit. If you are enjoying our videos, please make sure you smash that subscribe button and like our video, Wrestling Figure Mania 1, for all our toy hunts, our toy finds, and our toy reviews. Absolute horseshit. Now we have a bag. Yeah, let's let's ship a figure in a bag. I hope this isn't Polly Dangerously. I hope this isn't the one that got shipped in a bag, because I'd be really pissed if it is. Sorry for the kids that watch this. Oh, wait. No, this is Fatu. Again, uh, these are both the regular ones. These are not. If I plan on opening them, maybe. But these are now in stores everywhere. So this, this recording is the first week of June. You see those everywhere. So this is my Pauly. must be the Pauly itself. Let's see. Never pop this bad boy open. Hopefully you guys like Legend Series 18. I think it's great. You know, these Legend Series are getting played out, though. We need to have some guys that are, actually aren't in there. All right. Well, Pauly is in great shape. So there's our Pauly Dangerously. It's crazy. I passed on, like, four of these when I was in a Target. When it first rolled out, I was mad they didn't have the Hogan's. I saw a bunch of these. I'm like, oh, this one's not going to sell. Well, sure as hell, I was wrong because this is the, the hottest one of the whole lot. You can't find this anywhere. Um, I do really like this Pauly. So, I'm excited. With these unboxings, I knew that this was going to be mostly Legends 18. This Target box, not sure what this one is. Let's see what we have in this haul. It's a big box. Yep, yep. This is two of the Target exclusive Ultimate Edition Brett. The Hitman Heart. I'm thinking he might have to show up in the pick fed. I think he does. They need a little bit of the Hitman. You know, you can feel that coming out. So, um, obviously, we got two of them in here. Like I said, we got a bunch of this stuff. It's good for shipping material. If you're on my eBay page, www.usa. That's my eBay. These are the Bret Hart. So, the haul here for haul part one is all the Target exclusives. So, let's go get some more stuff from the other room. All right, we're back. We got some more boxes, obviously, as you guys can see. This one is from Wrestling Collector Shop. So, I'm not sure. I know we put a couple different pre-orders in um, at the Wrestling Collector Shop. We always put pre-orders in. So, there's always something that's always incoming from them. 
I love Wrestling Collector Shop because they actually ship with some bubble wrap. Oh, all right. So we have some Elite 102, the Elite 102 Edge. There we have it. When he was in Judgment Day, this is already a year outdated, but this figure is fantastic. I really like this when I saw it online. I didn't order the whole set. I only ordered a couple things. I should have actually went with the Gunther. I did not get the Gunther, but here we have Sami Zayn. He'll be entering the pick fed. We got a lot of figures here that are going in the pick fed. At this point, you know, I don't have that space anymore. Obviously, as you see, and then my favorite WWE superstar right now, Rhea Ripley. So we have her Elite 102. This one is my most highly anticipated figure. I'm super excited for this one. Can't wait to get her in the pick fed and in the magazine. So here you go. Rhea Ripley, Sami Zayn, and Edge. We'll just keep tossing the boxes. Uh, this one right here. Oh, this is from one of my other vendors. We won't name them here because... This is something that we're trying to keep on the DL for now. Yeah, hey, wrestling figure mania. We have some private vendors. <laughs> oh wow! I can't believe this is here already. So, not one Stacy Keebler, not two Stacy Keeblers, not three, but four. Legend Stacy Keebler stole these basically for the four of them shipped and paid $21. This is a deal that had to be made. I mean, this is my, my Stacy. Uh, no, no, so much for mint on card. We're doing a card show in July, so I think this will be one of my giveaways uh, for sure. You know, we have all the Stacy Keeblers out, so that is interesting. Um, all right. All right, we're back. We had to do some rearranging. Um, we'll go for the, the big priority mailbox here. Actually, no, we'll go with the Wrestling Collector Shop. See what this bad boy is. I think I have an idea what this is as well. The wife's going to be very happy as we're starting to clear some of the freight out of our, our entryway to the home. She thinks that we're going to sell all these and make money, but she doesn't know we're just going to play with these for fun. Yes, this right here. Uh, hopefully, knock over the tripod. King Harley Race. This is two Harley races. Definitely one to open, one to keep. I ended up selling um, my original uh, one that came out a couple years ago. I sold it right as I heard this was announced. I ended up getting you know about one seventy five for the original. Uh, still have value with build the figure parts, but. With the way these re-releases are going, I'm not holding on to these anymore. Flip them if you got them. And right now the flipping business is dying because no one has that extra discretionary cash for these figures. But Harley Race, this is super exciting. Oh, this, is, this is an unbelievable haul. This is my May 2023 haul. I'm already doing this on June 4th, so you know we're behind. Um, we got some big stuff we're going to be doing as well. You know, we have to do the figure reviews down the road, quickest figure openings, which I've done those. Um, this is from Ringside Collectibles. All right, we're not going to open that. It is the official Retro 2-Pack NWO. We have two sets here. We got two sets of the retros. So basically we get the retro. Eh, you know what? Maybe we'll we'll take a look. Throw this shit over there. You know what? You only live once, right? And this is NWO Country right here. We are huge NWO fans. That was a wrestling figure mania. Obviously, we're Metallica fans too. Um just be careful with these boxes because you don't want to ruin the actual box that the NWO set comes in. Oh, I already can see that I'm going to love it. No, we're not. This is, oh, there we go. We got it out. So there you go. NWO official set. I might have to get into the retros and start opening them too. These are crazy. Everybody keeps them mint on card, like myself. 
This is just compiling and compiling figures everywhere. All right, last box. Not the last box of the haul. Ooh, this is, that was heavy. From another vendor, one of my outside vendors. Um, no idea, I order so much random crap. What happens is you're up in the middle of the night and you see these deals that are like great deals right now. Now's the time to be a buyer. Um, if you have extra discretion, here. okay, not sure what just fell, but let's take a look. Now's the time to be a buyer. Like I was saying, if you have extra discretionary cash, because a lot of people are trying to get out of what they have, right? You have an election coming next year. You got shit popping everywhere now. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, these are, old school wrestling magazines. Uh, and there's a lot, there is a lot, as you can see, this one's probably staying in the box for the transport to our bonus room where these will live in infamy, but, uh, oh, all right, they at least did this way. Wrestling Review, let's see, this is from the yacht, May of 83, a 77, The Wrestler, uh, in, let's see this one, let's see. Inside Wrestling, December 74, I just won some 70s ones online from the toy guy, big shout out to him, we got March of 73, I mean, I'm kind of going back and buying these collections of res wrestling magazines. Like, look at how cool this is. Problems of a Giant, right? You got old school Andre the Giant. Oh, I can't wait to start getting into some of these. The thing is, I got to stop buying and start reading. Because these, these have some value to them, too. And this, these were not expensive. Um, not as much as you would think. So, oh, I'm excited to go through that. 60 cent wrestling magazines <clears throat> all right so we're gonna come right back to you with even more stuff from our haul i'm gonna go grab a couple more boxes from the other room we're getting close to the end here so hang tight we'll be right back all right we're back with some more stuff oh this one i already saw what's in it but i will debut it this needs its own it's its own video here um but this one's also again from one of our our trusted vendors where we get extra stuff. Always get the random stuff cheap. Another online. Oh! Wow, this came already too, huh? This right here. NWO Nitro Street Rods. Big Papa Pump. I was not expecting. I knew I knew we bought this, but. I did not know that this was coming. I don't know why there's a rubber band around it. I guess it's just to keep it in there. But this thing, I mean, take a look at it. Pretty awesome. Can't wait. Oh, yeah. For what we pay for it, we could definitely unbox it. Because we have the NWO Arena that's coming soon to our station here. And what would look better than an NWO street bike or street racer in the NWO Arena? All right, so now we have another thing here. <sighs> Same vendor. Good stuff. Hope you guys are all enjoying our videos here. We're trying to do our best we can to be entertaining. I'm telling you, guys don't have hauls like this. These are strange hauls, right? It's not all the same. Who buys four Stacey Keeblers in the middle of a recession? We do at Wrestling Figure Mania. Ah, this is a, a different lot. This is a loose lot we got some loose uh San, old san francisco toy company wcw figures we'll show you guys what we got in here we got the old big boss man some harlem heat ah we'll put them over eh, we'll let you stand up damn it let's get you guys a spot so we can see it right here is this one? How's this? High enough. Yep. All right. We got 
more Harlem Heat. We got the Macho Man, regular. We got Ric Flair with some blue trunks. Well, he might not stand up, so we're not going to fight with that. Keep it on video. We got a, a Sting before he made his change to black and white. Like I said, we had uh, I forget, Ray Trailer, Boss Man. I, I don't remember what gimmick this was. And then you have Harlem Heat, so I apologize. I'm supposed to be the WCW expert, and I forgot here. So, got these here. This one was a little steep. This was a $36 lot. Um, looking to flip. It's not going to happen anytime soon. This might have to be included in another lot. Might be able to package Harlem Heat and put them out there. So, But again, these, these display nice with the LJNs. They're very, very similar. Um, and who knows? These might go with that new uh, big guys from Cardona. That's coming out, uh, which I pre-ordered, which was very steep price, $50 a piece. But here's some WCW guys. We'll get them back in the bag so it's easier to transport up to the room. Hopefully, you guys like the new background here. See some belts, some John Starks autographed picture behind me. That is uh, was a gift from my son. He was very excited. He got it at a, a shop, I think, out in Vegas. So that was pretty awesome. And then here is, we had that really big box in the hallway uh, that you saw in the video. That is the Ric Flair exclusive belt from WWE Shop. We're not going to debut that on this video. Um, basically because it's too big to haul in here. We'll end up doing it on a separate video, especially with the, the size and the cost of that item. is significant when we finance that one. So uh, let's, let's, let, let's take a look at this right here. All right, so this one key was shipped on May 1st, so it counts on that May haul. I'm going to tell you, the June haul is not going to be as good as this May haul. All right, so just to give you guys some point of reference, this box is huge. This is a heavy box. This is seven years worth of WWF magazines. A couple of them look a little beat up. A couple of them look pretty good. This one right here. Look at this. Michaels Austin with with uh, Mike Tyson in the background. We got Kane's debut. I mean, I cannot wait to go through. These have cards in it. Like, check this out. Really cool stuff. So I, I got this in a huge lot from a seller on eBay. Um, I love this. I had it the one year where, and I don't think these match up that well, but it goes from WWF uh, to the Scratch logo. So I, I know I got a bunch of the ones in the 90s. Stone Cold. This is a legendary one here. Again, more cards. These are awesome. Especially you got Attitude Era, Pre-Attitude Era. Let me see if we got anything else in here. That oh, each one's done by year. Look at that. So we are not going to go through it. I'm trying to see. This one's a WWF. It says the People's Magazine. But we have years upon years upon years. So I guess this one was, that was the transition year. 1998 with the logos. We got all sorts of stuff. So pretty awesome lot of WWF magazines. Um, just ripped something on one of these. Got to be careful with that. Yep. So this is this is definitely one got to handle privately. Um, probably try to do a review on that, but I just ripped one of the magazines. Probably the one I like the most, but all good. So there you have it. We have all this stuff here all these legends figures we got one two three four five six seven eight nine legends figures you got two ultimates three regular elites two masterverse one origins eight retros five of the uh five or six of the san francisco toy company uh you got street rods we have magazines everywhere what a haul for May. Um, I mean, the biggest names, Hogan, Rhea Ripley, just a mix of that. And this Sammy, I'm so excited for this Sammy. 
comes with the mousetrap, and this is a very updated Sammy. So I think this will be a good one for the pick fed if he comes out. Um, my pick fed is off the hook already. We started uh, working on it. We have a couple, couple cool surprises for everyone. If you're still watching by now, I'll give you, I'll give you the the spoiler. We're going to be basing our picture federation based upon. If you can't guess by now, magazines. We're going to do it in a magazine format, but also with some live matches as well as uh, arena tours, interviews, everything you could possibly think of, but it's gonna be in a magazine format. I have two different ways, I, I have two different formats actually I'm working on right now, and they're both pretty awesome. I cannot wait for it to debut. The May issue, designing the covers is the most fun thing so far, um, but more to come on that. The Wrestling Figure Mania magazine is coming, and it's gonna be the Picture Federation, multiple championships on the line, something that's really, really cool, something I tried to do with my son when he was younger, something I did when I was younger. I'm probably one of the oldest collectors here on YouTube. I don't know if there's anyone that started collecting before I did. I got my first figures in May of 1985. So I can't wait till May of 2025 so I could be a 40-year collector. That'll be exciting. That'll be the day maybe I'll just blow out my whole collection. I haven't even shown you guys. You've seen sometimes on our videos the subscribe advertisement. You see my LJN collection loose. Started building a mint on card one too as well. But hopefully you like the new background. Uh, this may be the way we go in the future. It's easy for me to set up. Doesn't affect my arena room or anything like that because that room right now is chaos. And it's about to be more chaotic with this stuff. Guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Wrestling Figure Mania 1. Please support us. And look for our next giveaway. We did not have anyone claim the Cody Rhodes giveaway, so we are going to give away another Cody. We may give away a Stacy as well. We may do a tiered giveaway. And I have one of the coolest things we are going to open. I received something in the mail in 2005 or 6, one of those years. And we are finally going to open it. It is a piece of mail that has not been opened in nearly 20 years. And I know what's in it. It contains a super duper rare wwe figure collectors item make sure you tune back in everyone you have a great night before we go we have one more thing that we just want to talk about this there's a plastic for it in the box this was folded up okay this is a belt that i bought off ebay this is the andre the giant special edition belt well it's it, it's pretty damn thin and we're going to do another review on it, but this is a part of the May haul. So I wanted to show you guys the bonus content right here, which is the Andre the Giant belt. Look for another video on my review of this belt, my review of this seller, and I'm still in negotiation for a refund, and you'll find out why. So, again, smash the subscribe button, Wrestling Figure Mania 1. Now we're finally going to bed. Everyone, have a great night.